Hey everybody, Norm over here, and I've got my buddy Frank Stallone. And Frank was saying, this guy Roberto is really good. He is. And you were a street musician once, right? Yes, I was. I was a street musician for like a year or something in New York City. I play on the corner every night, and when I say cold, the strings didn't even move. That's how cold it was. And I play for whatever they throw in my guitar case. I mean, quarters, nickels, a dollar was a big thing. So sometimes I made five bucks, you know, living in Manhattan. But that's what I did. You know, I was a, you know, I wasn't like an MBA. I wasn't going to Harvard. So what the fuck am I gonna do? So, so I have empathy for what they call in England buskers and here right. street musicians because they're all really good musicians. But well, they're not quiet. all really good. But this one, no, he's what is exceptional about him is his voices, chord melodies. Chord melodies. Yes. I mean, that's something he's complete. He puts together mm -hmm. tracks by himself. Put some all together. And he plays out here. And right. then, yeah. And uh, play a little bit just for us. Do uh, uh, Summer Love. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I told about this too. It's a Ruby and the Romantics. Too. Yeah. My Summer Love. It's yeah. a fantastic song. The great one was Our Day Will Come. Yeah. That well, organ. This was a follow up. Well, the organ on this is Killer Crip. Yeah. It's, uh, but this is, you know, he did it. I was saying, what, what to you? I was talking yesterday. I was thinking. You know, I listen to old radio records that are perfect. The flamingos I have only eyes for you is perfect. Kill. Uh, smoke gets your eyes and platters. They're like just perfect. The rain glows. The moon glows. The Dell Vikings. Um, um, but they're like just perfect records. You know what I mean? I mean, there's just there's no flaws. You weren't able to hit one or two or any of that stuff. No. I mean, Frankie Lyman before he lost his voice. They're, they're great. Well, let's check this out, because this is a tune with a really cool melody line and some nice chord changes. Oh, so. wow. It's My Summer Love by Ruby Tele and the Romantics. Yes, Telecaster is one of the... Great guitar. So you, uh, Frank, you're a great musician and a great singer. 
this is stuff really That's good. That's fantastic. You yeah, don't but hear this out on the street. No, no, because it's it, it, it's the way he puts his chords and and the way he, it's 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 pacing, timing, and, and first of all, to me, you know, I love Telecasters because yes. it's the most challenging guitar to play. They're really not the easiest guitar to play. So when guys play it, but you can do everything on it. Ted Green. Absolutely. I say I walked in the place once, and some guys honked in the corner, and I'm going, wait a second, is he playing actually Rhapsody in Blue on a Telecaster? And he was. Chord melody, and I said, holy Christ. I'm talking about feeling small. I mean, yeah. It's yeah, but, well, Ted uh, sounded like a walking army. Yeah. But anyhow. I bet he's probably done Sleepwalk, hasn't he? Do you know Sleepwalk? By Santo and Johnny? Yeah, I used to play that, but um, I'm, I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> well. <clears throat> well, when you guys see these guys out on the street, if they're good, you, Roberto. Thank you. Nice Thank you, you Frank. Frank's a good guy. And listen, you've you been know, through it, man. I I've know been you through it. You guys, listen. We're all like have the same motives and love and stuff to play music. Sometimes. But music, the one thing, no matter what side of the aisle, no matter what, we all can all agree on good together, music, absolutely. right? Oh yeah. Some of the artists out there are probably so left wing, like I, I love them. I mean, how can you not like, like James Taylor? Is, is he kind of gone off the rails? He's great. But he's well, James Taylor. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait a second. Wait a second. You saw him at the thing. He was, I never heard him sing flat before. He's great. He's the greatest. I love James Taylor. Cat Stevens. I love this song. This is a perfect record. Right Okay, let's see. I know him. John <laughs>
as I was saying before, this song is loved by him. It's so trippy. When he started playing, all of a sudden people kind of stopped and smiled. <laughs> it's something about this song that's very zen. I don't know why. It, 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 it's, it's, it's sexy. It's, it's kind of... Flows. Flows, and, yeah. It's but a, one thing that I love about Roberto's playing, his vibrato, very expressive, yeah. very soulful. And he also throws jazz knows riffs when in. he yeah, and, but when he plays up the neck yeah. on his strumming hand and back towards the bridge oh, yeah. to get a brighter sound and a warmer sound. That's well, yeah, real well, music. That's, he's a very instinctual musical. he's a very instinctual player. And you know, there's things you can teach people and there's just people that are just instinctual and they just have feel. But I like that he was doing like some of these jazz riffs in between. Oh, yeah. This is great. But economical, but really good. You don't have, you don't have to get paid by the note. That's what a guy said <laughs> once. Blues guy go. Well, I just I, want to thank you guys. Um, again, Roberto is something special. We like having him here on Saturdays. Yeah. Thank you very much, buddy. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, I hope man. this new guitar treats you really well. Yeah, this tree is beautiful, beautiful, man. Yeah. Beautiful. It does sound good. It's, Thanks, it's guys. The great Roberto, the great Frank Stallone. Woo! Well, I don't know what I am. Thank you. Yeah, man. That was great.